if you find the content relevant then do like share and subscribe to the channel also hit the bell button to get a regular notification also do share your experiences and any suggestions that you have in the comment box hope you enjoy Today we are going to discuss NMAT logic strategy for a new pattern of the NMAT exam. So we are running a few courses of NMAT. One is a workshop which will be held around first week of December. We already started one round of workshop. Then there is adaptive mocks and there is that videos which is there. You can always go to this purchase page or you can call a given number for information. Come into the paper pattern as we have discussed in almost all videos. There is language, there is quant, logical reasoning. Number of questions are the same, but time is different. We are focusing on a logical reasoning section with 36 questions, 40 minutes is time. Now, how is the pattern going to be? Now, from whatever we have seen in the mock papers, etc., from the NMAT official guide and the NMAT official mock, we expect that there could be around two, maybe maximum three group questions of four questions each. So, puzzles, the proper puzzles of four questions each based on matrix or based on arrangement, that's what it could be. Apart from that, there will be input output one set of four questions, could be one of those type of questions. And there could be individual puzzle questions of four to six questions each. Right? Find a missing number in the diagram given to you or something like that. Apart from that, there is verbal using. So the major portion of the logical using section this year is going to be verbal using. So the focus has been verbal using this year. And that is where you need to focus on as far as preparation for your logic section is concerned. Also, almost all of these sections or points will take almost equal time. It's not that one will take more time, one will take less time. Logic normally requires you to read, understand and then solve. Okay, so that's what is important. But understand, practice is what will help you to make logic better. Now, coming to the strategy. Technically, if you look at it, if you have 40 minutes and 30 questions, 36 questions, I will put on an average 10 minutes and 9 questions as the time that you need to look at. 10 minutes for 9 questions. But yes, the strategy could change a bit depending on what your focus is. If your focus is just clearing the cutoff, ensuring that you get a call, I mean, you have to ensure the initial questions are right. That means for the initial 7 to 8 questions, you may spend a little bit more time. So first 10 minutes, you may just spend 7 to 8 questions instead of 9 questions to ensure that you get right. And then more number of questions in the last 10 minutes. Because the initial questions has more weightage. So normally people in adaptive test, people who solve initial questions right, tend to score a higher marks. So you can do slightly more time for the initial question in that case. But if you're confident to score a high score, in that case, I would recommend that solve the initial questions fast because the later questions are expected to be tough. Remember in an adaptive test, if you score correct in the initial questions, you'll get tougher questions in the later part. Okay, and vice versa. If you score wrong in the initial question, you get an easier question in the later part. So if you're Confident of scoring high, if I'm assuming you'll score initially, you'll score correct. That means the tougher question will come later on where you may require slightly more time. So understand this when you finalize the pattern. And this is true for all the three sections. Okay. Uh, so try to think this, understand this in your mind and then go about it. What is the focus? So in a specific section where you want to clear the cutoff, you more time for the initial set of uh, questions. In a specific section where you do maximize the score, I mean, give less time for initial set of questions, solve the initial questions fast, so you can give more time for the tougher questions that come later on. But this is where your strategy can change from section to section. I mentioned this in the logic section, but this can be true for all of these sections. Okay, sometimes, especially this is logic section, sometimes the logic is tough. I mean, no matter what happens, you may not understand the logic because the paper set is setting the logic. Learn to guess and leave. There's no point breaking your head on a question which you cannot solve. And you can't come back to the question. So learn to make intelligent guess and move ahead. Don't try to break your head on the question. Same if you're behind time schedule. As we said that first 10 minutes, 9 question. But in the first 10 minutes, you only saw 6 question. Remember that you're behind schedule. Then learn and leave tough question. If you suddenly come back to the question which you feel will take a longer time to solve, then learn to guess and leave up. Move ahead. Okay. There is no higher weightage for tough questions or lower weightage for easy question. It is as and when the question comes. You have to solve it. So, in understand that um, it is uh, 
important that you learn to do intelligent guess and more there is no point wasting a lot of time on a tough question because that will in, in turn affect your time for the remaining questions and you may not have enough time so learn to balance that formulate the strategy practice enough mocks and that will help you to understand what works for you and what does not thank you